This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Okay, so guys, in the previous video, we have seen that uh, um, how to generate a layout report and what are the different annotations, how to set up all those things. In this video, this is the second part. I'm going to cover how to attach the screenshot whenever there is a screen, I mean, whenever there is a test case failure, right? Because this is something very important we need to, we need to cover. Because how to, right, automatically, it will take the screenshot and then it will attach with the earlier report. In extend report also, we have already seen that in my previous page object model series videos. So what do you need to do, guys? To do this thing, you need to create one listener class once again, just like extend report listener we have created that time. Similarly, you have to create one listener template class. And in that particular class, you need to add, uh, this will be my test ng listener class. You need to add different methods. You need to tell to test ng that whenever there is a test failure, right? Whenever there is a test failure on test failure, Take the screenshot and attach with a layer report. We have to use one annotation that is called at the rate attachment annotation, right? So how to do this? So to do this thing, what I have done, so I have already created one test a layer listener dot Java class. So this is very simple, and I'll explain you. I'll do one thing. I'll just keep this test a layer listener. I'll just copy this entire code, and I'll create one. Okay, and create over here under my SRC test resources, or you can create under your SRC test Java also, or you can create under SRC main Java. I'll do one thing. So already one listener is available over here. Extend report listener. So I'll do one thing. I'll create my layer report listener as well. So I'm just creating a test a layer report listener. Click on finish. You can give whatever the name you want to give. So let's say I'm giving test a layer listener and uh, I'll just copy the entire code and I'll make some changes over here. So this is uh, test a layer listener and I'll give the same package, I mean, same class name. And uh, this is implementing a okay, rename compilation. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, this is okay. One second. So here, what we have to do, we have to add the package. The package name is form.qa.hubspotlistness and all the errors are gone now. Almost, yeah, everything is gone. It's still one is there. So I'll do one thing. Uh, okay, I'll explain you what exactly we are doing over here. We just need to import this base page. Base page is already available in my Okay, in my framework, so we just need to import. Fine. So what I have done, guys, I have created one method. Whenever any test failure is there, we will call this method save a screenshot PNG. We will pass the driver, and this is a typical screenshot method in Selenium that how to get how to take a screenshot. Okay, this method I have written, and with this method I have written one at the rate attachment. This annotation is coming from a layer report. Okay. This annotation is coming from earlier and value is equal to page screenshot or whatever the name you want to take and then type equal to image or png like this i have written i have written one save text log also whenever any uh, text log you want to generate you can generate that is as well and with again at the rate attachment i have written over here Okay, I'm not using it, so you can ignore this part. Maybe we can delete it later. Attach HTML if you really want to attach one HTML or something. That also you can do that. So on start annotation, on start this method, I'm going to overwrite because this particular listener class is implementing iTest listener, which is coming from TestNG. And this is my own listener class. So in own listener class, I've already explained you earlier that we need to overwrite on start method, on finish method. So on start and on finish, I don't want to do anything. So let it be like this. On test start also, I don't want to do anything because my target is to take the screenshot whenever there is a test failure is there. So I'll not touch these methods as well. 
I simply do one thing that whenever there is a test failure, I want to take the screenshot. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take this base page dot get driver method. So get driver method I have created over here inside my base page, which will give you the driver with the help of thread token. So you can take this code. It's already available available in my Git repository. So this particular method will get the driver. It means it will give you the driver actually. So when we get a driver reference, I'm storing inside the web driver and uh, I'm checking that if the driver is instance of the driver, it means call this particular method, the save a screenshot PNG method with at the rate attachment. So this particular method will be called and this guy will take the screenshot automatically. And then simple, I'm saying save a log and a layout report whenever there is a test case failure. So it will create a log also. It will create one log entry also that uh, okay, with this particular method, I'm calling that okay, whatever the method name is there, this particular method name get called and got failed and the screenshot taken like this. So this is very simple. You can write the same code whenever there is a test skip also, you can do that, but I don't want to generate my screenshot whenever the test case is getting skipped so that we can ignore, right? So only for test failure, I have to attach, okay? I have to call this particular method. The save the screenshot PNG method and make sure save the screenshot PNG method is associated with at the rate attach annotation. Then only it will work. Okay. So this is the test earlier listener. If you remember, we covered extend report listener also. Okay. This is how we have to write the extend report listener that okay, on test failure, I want to take the screenshot or whatever, create a screenshot and all. So this guy, this listener is for extend report. So we are not bothered about it. So my advice is give to guys that okay you should not combine both the listeners together keep extend report listeners separately and test earlier listeners separately if you are using both the reports in your project if you are using only earlier then you don't need any extend report listener you need only test earlier listener whatever the listener class that you are creating right perfect after that what we need to do guys you just copy this particular class name you go to your test class so i'll go to my login test.java and here, just above the class name, what you need to do, you need to write an entry at the rate listeners. You have to tell, okay, because listener is what? Listener is your test change listener, which will listen your test execution from the test class, okay, during the execution time. So we are saying that, okay, we are telling to test change that whenever you are going to execute this particular test change class, please listen to this particular listener as well so we are just writing one listener over here like this okay and whatever the class name is there dot class so this is my test earlier so we have associated we have added okay we have uh, associated one listener class over here with this particular test case i mean with this particular test class so whenever this test class is going to be executed by testing this particular listener will be activated automatically with this class and whenever there is a test failure it will take the screenshot Got it. This is the purpose of listener in every framework, right? There is no rocket science. Okay. So after that, what we need to do, we need to do one more thing that we need to go to our test ng regression dot XML. And here also just like, a, okay, here we have added our extend report listener. We have to make an entry for our layer report listener also. Okay. Guys. So what is my class name? uh the class name is test earlier listener so this is available over here so i'll write make sure no spelling mistake test earlier listener right and we just go there just to verify yes it's available over here in my project perfect so this entry also i have made it in test ng regression or xml file and we know that in form.xml file, our testng.xml file is available, whatever, right? This testng.regression.xml file is there. So whenever Maven is going to execute your program, it will check where is your form.xml file. In form.xml file, it will go to Surefire plugin because Surefire plugin is responsible for running your program, executing your test cases. And then it will check, okay, this is my testng.xml file, it will go to testng.regression.xml uh, file it will check okay these two listeners are associated in the background 
and then which test class we are going to execute. We are going to execute this particular test class. And again, it will check, okay, you have associated one listener over here as well. And then it will start executing this particular, all these three test cases one by one, and then it will generate the report. So what I'm gonna do that right now, all these three test cases will be passed. So what I'll do, I'll deliberately make my test case failure. So that obviously, so that I can see that, okay, my test cases are getting failed with the screenshot. So I'll do one thing. Um, okay, let's make some test case fail. So this is constant login page title, right? So I'm expecting that, okay, HubSpot login. So I'm expecting, let's see, one, two, three now. So obviously my test case will be failed in that case. And the second test case also, let's see, I'll mark it fail. Verify sign up link. So verify sign up link, okay, let's see, is displayed. So, okay, so let it be like this. Let's not make it fail. So first test only will be failed. Second test case will be passed. And let's see the third test case can be market fail. Okay, let it be like this. So out of three, let's see, I'm going to, okay, making fail first, only first test case, right? The first test case will be failed because you're saying that constant, whatever the title you are getting, this is very well login page title, whatever the title you are getting, it should be equal to login page title one, two, three, right? So I just added one, two, three, one extra number over here, but the actual title is HubSpot login. So this will be mismatch and your assertion will be failed. So your test case will be marked as fail and it will take the screenshot, right? So let's see. So I'm gonna execute again from my terminal. So this is my ter terminal. Okay, and I'm available, already available in this particular January form series project name. And I'll execute my test case maven clean test. So let's run it again and let's see. So three times browser should be launched. So it is reaching, compiler plugin is done. Compilation is done. It is reaching at the Surefire plugin. You can see Surefire plugin. It's reaching at the test, okay, test layer. And it will try to execute your test cases. So first execution will happen on with Google Chrome. So my Google Chrome should be launched. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, you can see that my Chrome is getting launched and it will execute my first test case, which should be failed. So let's see. So right now, it's so still checking whatever the title is there. It's and then done. Second test case is getting executed. So this is also done. This checking the sign up link, and the third one is the typical login. So. You can see the third one is also getting executed. Just a moment. Okay. So the third one is also done, right? So all the three test cases are okay. Got it. And we'll see the report over here. I mean, first the Maven report over here. You can see that out of three, the first test case got failed. The verify login page title got failed. It is saying expected of the spot one, two, three, but found of the spot login. So obviously there is a difference of one, two, three. Perfect. And then we will generate our LAR report. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to generate my LAR report. So we have already seen that LAR, sir, LAR results. We have to, this particular command you have to run. Okay. On your terminal, on your command prompt, and then simple enter. It's saying generating report to temporary directory. So let's see what kind of report it will generate. It takes some time. Yeah. It's doing something. Logging initialization and uh, awesome. So you can say that, see, out of three, one test case got failed, right? And maybe we will click on all the test cases. We'll go to over here. So out of three, Right, guys. One test case got failed. This has got passed. This has got failed. And here you will see see the thing. Here you will see get a login page title step and uh, verify login page title got failed. And 
Is it taking screenshot? Yes, over here. Perfect. Right? Verify login page title test failed and a screenshot taken. And again, it's showing the screenshot over here. Right? So this is like really good, guys. And uh, it's saying this is a log. This is a log. If you see our code, this log is coming because of right because of this method save text log right because we are calling save test log method over here once the screenshot is done right so test case got failed it's saying that okay this very uh, this particular method failed and a screenshot taken the same message i have written over here whatever the method name failed and a screenshot taken so this get test method name it will take which method okay is there which test method is there so this is my method name failed and screenshot taken Perfect, right guys? So this is how we have to generate the screenshot in a layer report for failure test cases, right? And this one got passed. If you see the behavioral part also, the story name to check login page title got failed and you can see the screenshot got over here. Perfect, make sense, right guys? So this is how we generate the screenshot and all the errors over here expected but found this like this okay so this is fine package wise also same okay report will be generated suite level also same report will be generated overview if you'll see that okay yeah this is the overview you will see this is the out of three one test case got failed category level also you will see that product defects and one defect is there this is a defect you just Copy this entire thing and then you can put inside your Zira, raise a ticket over there, and then you are done. Right, guys? So that's all for this particular video. And uh, I think uh, that is more than enough, with, okay, with respect to LAR report. Maybe I can create one more video that how to generate the final report, just like this, this report in Windows machine. Your code will remain same, whatever we have covered so far. But the, I'm talking about this thing. I haven't checked. I need to check in my Windows machine that okay, this particular LAR serve, this command is working or not, right? To publish the report actually. So we will see that particular thing in Windows. I'll check in my Windows laptop and I'll prepare one video as well. But the code will remain same. The listener, the method, the annotations, everything will remain same in your page class, in your test class, everywhere. Okay, guys. So this is about LAR report. I'm pretty much sure. You guys can use now this report in your uh, current framework in your company and yeah generate such kind of good reports and showcase these things to your team and managers and team lead and to the client right so thank you so much was for watching this video and uh, if you have any issue with respect to configuration and with respect to LAR report you can write a comment over there and definitely try to help you guys thank you so much and i'll upload this particular code the latest code into my git repository as well so the, uh, the link is available in the description. You can have a look over there. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video and keep watching Arena Automation Labs.